welcome to my channel. My name is Elizabeth and I am a kindergarten teacher here in California. And in my classroom, I really try to gamify activities so that the students don't really know that they're learning. Rather, they think they're playing a game. So here are some video clips of an ocean escape I launched this week with the students and basically they move a game piece along the game board that's on the wall and for each challenge they complete a different activity or task or hands-on project or science experiment so with that said i wanted to share with you why i love using happy numbers in the classroom because it is an e-learning platform that really truly does gamify learning i have been using happy numbers as an e e-learning math option in my classroom since the beginning of the school year and we are far enough into the school year where I can basically share with you how the students are responding to it, how I'm liking it. So this is kind of like a beginning of the year review of happy numbers. I've had a lot of you message me, send me DMs, emails, responding to the first video I posted. I'll put it right here. You can check that video out. Um, as I basically introduced happy numbers and a lot of you said that you use happy numbers and love it and the students love it. I'm excited to share with you the response of the students so far and then um, just share with you also what my experience has been with it. So if you're new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button. I share tips, strategies, um, relatable posts, and I would love for you to join the family. Let's go ahead and hop into the video. Happy Numbers has done such an amazing job at gamifying math and the school that I work at, we call all of the students heroes and we really adopt the ethos of the hero's journey. So Happy Numbers really aligns perfectly with our ethos, enables the students to kind of be on a math journey and they can kind of choose which worlds they want to choose and all of that. So I'm gonna go hop over on my computer, show you some statistics on the back end. I'm gonna show you the students view, what they see, and then I'm gonna share with you how we are kind of incentivizing using the program here in the studio. Hey guys, welcome to my computer view. Um, I'm still in the classroom here, but I wanted to show you kind of the back end. I've blurred out the students' names just for privacy's sake, but you can kind of see here the different um, categories of so time spent, tasks complete, um, accuracy. So these are all things that help me understand how much I need to come in then and support. We started this pretty much the beginning of the school year. Let me show you another report. So I'm gonna click on the progress report here. This report basically gives me an idea of where everyone's at and who needs more support. Um, like I said, the, I do additional assessments outside of this, but I will say, I love having an e-learning option for math because it basically helps me kind of progress monitor and track. Now I do assess outside of this for specific skills and heroes can earn what we call badges for completing specific skills. Let me jump over to this, the student side or the hero side and show you one of our heroes who has just been doing such an amazing job. This hero loves happy numbers and he is just moving right along. If a hero completes three worlds, they earn a badge for their necklace. So this says happy numbers one, happy numbers two. And what their goal is, is to complete all of the worlds. Now you can see here that he has kind of, he's jumped around a little bit. And that's what I love about happy numbers is that happy numbers really gives the student the power and lets them decide what levels and lands they want to choose and what skills they want to work on. So if they're really not interested in a certain skill, that's okay, they can pause on that and go to a different world. Some of the worlds are locked, but once they complete a certain level on the previous world, then it kind of opens and unlocks that. So the goal of the student is to get through all of the worlds and then they get what we call a master badge. So they'll not only get 
unlock achievements as they go. But then in the classroom, we give additional master badges and then they get like a hero, what we call hero bucks for every mini badge, which looks like this. And then a master badge is when they complete the entire program and bump up to a grade level. And that's what I love about happy numbers is that they might start, say for example, at the pre-K level, maybe they're coming in and they need just extra support and review, especially after this last year, we all know that it's been crazy. But say they're coming in at that pre-K level, Happy Numbers basically kind of scaffolds for them. So once they complete this level, they can bump up to kindergarten. And then once they complete kindergarten, they can bump up to first grade and second grade and, and so on and so forth. So it kind of follows their journey um, as they complete the levels. So you can see here, this is one grade level and this is another grade level. So I have a lot of students or heroes who are working to complete this whole grade level. And then once they're done with this grade level, then they can bump up like these couple heroes down here have bumped up to the next grade level. So this really helps me see where everybody's at at the click of a button. I can log in, see how much time has been spent, where they're at, where they're struggling. Happy Numbers is almost like having a teacher helper. So I'm able to go in and just see the back end reports, which are so, so helpful. So if you click on the curriculum button right here, you can see the curriculum for all of the different grade levels. So this is pre-K through fifth grade, but you can see here all of the different um, topics and then if you click on one of them basically the standard if your school needs you to submit specific lesson plans you can go in and pull different um, like standards from this back end which is really neat another thing that you can do is set kind of a weekly target I guess you could do this individually you could also do this as a class as a whole if you have students who need to hit a specific learning objective or a certain amount of time, or you're trying to build their stamina, this is a great way to hone in on those weekly targets. All right, so overall, hopefully you've got a good idea of what Happy Numbers is, how it kind of gamifies math, how it gives students options to kind of choose their journey. And then you've seen now the back end too of some different features that Happy Numbers has for educators. If you're a parent, administrator, educator, maybe you're homeschooling your students at home, your kiddos at home. Um, this just kind of gives you an overview. We have loved it. Capital L O V E loved it. We use different devices here in the classroom. Sometimes I'll pair students together on a smaller touchscreen device and that just gives that student support. It gives the opportunity for an older student to teach a younger student. Sometimes I will pull out our big smart board and let students play on it. They get super excited. So we love using Happy Numbers. Happy Numbers, thank you for sponsoring this video. We are so excited to continue on our journey here in the classroom. I'm gonna go ahead and hop over on my other screen to wrap up the video and I have a question for you, so stick around. Do you use Happy Numbers already? If so, comment down below. Let's get a discussion started in the comments. What are your favorite things about Happy Numbers? Maybe you're considering adopting Happy Numbers as an e-learning math option for your school. Maybe you're a homeschooling parent, maybe you're a teacher in the classroom, maybe you're watching this and you're an administrator and you're looking for the perfect math program for your school. If so, comment down below. There's a link in the description you can check out um, for more information on the program. It is a K through five program, very interactive, can be very challenging, kind of go at your own pace. It's a beautiful setup. I love how Happy Numbers gamifies the learning, gets the students engaged in what they're learning about. It's got audio options. It's great for visual support and gives them all the tools and resources that they need to be successful in their journey as they are learning math. Follow along with me as I kind of roll out how Happy Numbers is working in the classroom. So with that said, click on the links down below, check out Happy Numbers, like this video, share it, consider hitting that subscribe button and joining the family. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.